Hello and welcome to a rather wet Derbyshire. I'm James Baggett, I'm the founder of Car Dealer Magazine. Today I've headed north to meet Tom Hartley. He's one of the most famous names when it comes to selling supercars. He sells them from this incredible estate alongside the rest of his family. And today he's gonna to show us around his new showroom, he's gonna show us the lake, and he's gonna show us where he's done business all these years. Tom Hartley has been selling supercars for nearly 50 years. The dealership based off the beaten track in the sleepy village of Overseal specialises in the most luxury cars around. Sat in his new showroom is a Bugatti Veyron, a McLaren P1, a Porsche 918 and a stunning Ferrari F50 that's just sold for more than £2 million. Hartley's invested £10 million quid into the new showroom. It's something Tom is very proud of indeed. This, what's known as the Hartley Estate, is, is undoubtedly the most famous showroom uh, in Europe, if not the world. I often say India has the Taj Mahal, London has Buckingham Palace, and America has the White House. The car industry has the Hartley Estate. There's no doubt the Hartley Estate is very impressive, but that's hardly a surprise coming from a salesman who's been selling cars in his own unique way from the age of 12. So where did it all start for the man who's become the leading name in supercar selling? Well, as a um, child, boy and man, uh, I've given the car business my life. I started off in Scotland. As a 12 year old, I had no school education. I spent it all at car auctions. And I married uh, a couple of deals as a, as a teenager, uh, Range Rover deals. And, and then the rest is uh, the journey started. What's special about this place is it's privately owned. It's funded uh, by the family. Um, we don't rely on borrowing. We've always reinvested our profits into making the business bigger. We don't really need it to be any bigger now because it's, uh, we carry between 75, sometimes 80 cars under cover, which is unparalleled or unprecedented in the, in the motor industry, cars of this caliber. So, you know, I, I sleep here, I eat here, I live here, I deal here, I do everything here. Some 50 years later, Tom is as driven and passionate about the motor trade as he ever has been. He sold cars to the rich and famous, new money to old and made headlines across the world. But no matter who he's dealing with, everyone gets the same polished silver service. What is it though that keeps Tom going? Drive and energy for me has never been something I've lacked. Um, you know, you're only as good as your next deal. It's no good talking about one deal wonders and what you sold five years ago or what you sold three years ago. What I sold yesterday I've already forgotten about. I need to move on and moving on with a one focus vision is what um, is what drives me and what gives me the energy to be the best at what I do. And without blowing wind out of my ass, excuse my French, uh, there is no bigger name independently in this sector in Europe. Believe in yourself, don't give up, because it's very easy for people to throw the towel in. It's very easy to get weak and you give up. There's, if you want to be the best at what you do, Nine to five will cut. Nine to five will get you by, but it'll never cut the cake. You know, if you want to go, nine, there are people out there happy to do nine to five, and I've got nothing against them people, but they'll never be the best at what they want to do. And you have to put the effort in. What you get into it is what you'll get out of it. Although it's the hunger for the next deal that drives him, it's clear to see walking around Tom's estate that attention to detail is absolutely critical too. Whether that's choosing lights for his showroom at a cost of £250,000 or spending just as much again on building a platform in his lake to take pictures on, whatever it takes, Tom does things in his own way, no matter what the cost, because it's the little things, he says, that matter most. Well, I'm a bit of an OCD person, to be honest with you. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Uh, not that you need to know, but I have a shower three times a day or a bath three times a day. Cleansiness for me, I won't drive a dirty car. Um, I get asked every day in my life what do I drive. People expect I drive a Lamborghini or a Porsche or a Rolls Royce. I actually drive a Discovery or a Volkswagen Golf Diesel. I drive that for a number of reasons. As a young man, I've driven all this stuff and you can't get complacent. Complacency in life destroys people and they forget what's here today can be gone tomorrow. So not being complacent makes me appreciate the product that we buy and sell. And therefore, if I'm going out with my wife, I'm going to have a special occasion. I actually enjoy driving the car like I've never driven it before, and in fact I've drove them all my life. The new showroom was always going to be designed uh, to be different than anything ever built in the UK and probably Europe, and, and I'm getting word it's probably in the world. I mean, as you witness, there's three floors 
of complete perfectionist. Everything from lighting, special lighting, glass floors, special air conditioning units, uh, sound systems, the car lift, uh, boardroom, there's a cinema room on site for taking customers into. Everything on this estate is tailor-made to make the customer feel, wow, I didn't go somewhere else and see that. And it's a fact you can't go anywhere else and experience what you experience when you visit the Hartley Estate to buy or sell a car. Now, even if you visit and you don't buy or sell a car, when you leave this estate, you will always remember it. And that was always built with that in mind. As my son said it, he said, Dad, there'll be showrooms like this in 10 years' time, but it will take them 10 years to try and make something like this. And even if they do make things like that, they'll not have the famous car stage lake, they'll not have the 245 acre estate, they'll not have all the trimmings of the manicured lawns and the flowers. This, this can't be duplicated and will not be duplicated. It'll be try to be copied, but it'll never be duplicated. Clients love visiting Tom Hartley's estate because it's tucked away and offers total privacy. You enter through huge electric gates off an unassuming village street, or if you're rich enough, like Tom's high roller clients, by helicopter landing on the lawn. Tom gives up most of his day to show car dealer around his estate and his showrooms. With more than £30 million worth of stock, there's plenty to take in. Spread over three floors, the new showroom is a treasure trove of high specification cars. They include a Ferrari 488 Pilote, a piece to spider, and some seriously high specification Porsches. So Tom, this is the uh, new showroom. That's right. Amazing. Thank you for showing us around. Perhaps you could just talk to me about some of the some of the cars that are in here. They're incredible things. Um, and just talk to me about the sort of people that you sell these cars to. Okay, then we'll start over here. We've got a very special F50 Ferrari. Um, um, we've got a very special F50 Ferrari over here. Um, which so is, where did where did this come from, this Ferrari? We bought this car from a customer who was in uh, in America. The car was in the UK. It's always been in the UK, and we um, we sold it to go to uh, the Far East. It's going out any day this week or next week. So and you you've sold this car now? Yes, yeah, car's going out going out this week. So um, what, what when when did this come into the showroom? Did you say? Uh, it's been here for about six weeks now. But it's only done a thousand mile. This car. A thousand miles. So yeah. is it going to a collector? It's going to a collector, yeah. Yeah. And, and what did what did a car like this go for? This car today was in excess of two million sterling. So I mean, there's 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 probably a lot of money represented on this floor. I mean, roughly, yeah. how much do you think the stock is is worth that's in the showroom at the moment? Well, I think on the estate, it's now carrying in excess of uh, almost close to fifty million, fifty million pounds sterling. In the estate. And how, how quickly do you, do you turn that stock, Tom? Well. You know, sometimes cars can hang around, uh, especially with COVID-19 thing that's happened. But generally, we tend to turn a car around no longer than a month in stock. Although there's some on different floors. There are three floors in this showroom, as you know, there's a basement. There's a top floor, the classic floor. Yeah. And then there's this ground floor for hypercars and the highest end supercars. This is Carl's office, yeah. Um, some cars, and this is all glass. Um, uh, I love that. I mean, the curved glass looks fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you come inside and you've got a glass floor here, looks yeah. like cars here. So, so what was the here. idea behind the glass floor? I mean, you've, we've got another one over there, you've got one well, over here. Just that uh, you let people walk in and know they've got a basement. Yeah. You know, where do you go to show them find a basement for the supercars? Oh, there's a lot of stock down there, isn't there? Oh, there's, uh, yeah, I mean, massive, it's, you know, it's colossal. Of course, this unique, where, where do you have an office with a view like this? Yeah. Yeah. Can we have a little look at the? Um, yeah. Have a look, a little look at the lift. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the lift is pretty incredible. Yeah, this is, Italian, this is Italian. This lift is made in Italy. Yeah. Called the scissor lift. Uh, can we show that? Just going up, James, please. It's this this uh, this this lift is known as a scissor lift, and these doors are very high high tech um, uh, doors, so that they, they, they protect everything happening. Yeah. Um, this is now going down to the basement. Yeah. Um, so, um, Tom, there's some incredible cars here. I mean, th this one in particular. I mean, tell me a little bit about this and, and well, how you get hold of these cars. Well, obviously, this is a Ferrari Pilotti, and these Pilottis were built only for uh, racing drivers that race the Challenge cars. And we have had four of these cars now. Um, 17 were given to, to individuals, and they weren't supposed to be sold. However, profitability to clients is tempting, and we, as I say, this is the fourth car that we've had. And um, I mean, what's this worth, Tom? That car's four hundred thousand, 
And they're, and they're selling the 400 pounds. You sold four of them, that? No, I sold the first one I sold, I sold for 450. So 50,000, 10 rand in four months. That's where the marketplace can go. So tell me a little bit about where you get, I mean, these are, these are clearly come from pri private owners. I mean, wh where do your cars predominantly come from? Look, when you've been around for 47 years or 48 years in the business, um, James, it happens to be, you know this is where you come to if you want to buy and sell a car. What's more importantly, when you come to Tom Hartley, is you know you're going to get paid. And that's a big factor today. And um, that's what I build the reputation on. That's how my son deals. That's how I brought my sons up to deal. Um, we open the mouth, make a price, we put money where our mouth is. Tom Hartley is very proud to be a family firm. His youngest son, Carl, is his business partner and has been schooled in the motor trade from a young age. He now buys and sells a multi-million pound cars alongside his dad. What's it like working with my dad? Um, it's eventful. It's colourful. It's um, explicit. <laughs> the language that gets used now and again. But, you know, it's... it's my dad is my best friend. It's, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do, um, was follow in his footsteps in this business. And to do it with him side by side is, um, is really good, really great. You have some, have some highs and lows, but more highs than lows. One of the first things I ever learned is, um, you know, you stand, you stand to your word. Um, and this is a... Um, a man telling a 12-year-old this coming into the business, like, if you say you're going to do something, you do it. Um, if you say you're going to buy a car for X, Y, Z, you're going to do it. Whether it's right or wrong, if you say it, you do it. Um, so that was a, that's a really important thing that I always live my life by. Even turning up on time somewhere, you know, once again, you, you things go back to when you were a child and what you was taught. If you said you're going to be there at 2 o'clock, you were there at 5 to 2, you know? That's the way, that's the way we are. Um, but more so, go on a gut instinct. Trust, trust your judgment, trust yourself. We don't follow anybody, so I, I like to think that on these kind of cars, we are the marketplace. And as joint owner, Carl has some big ambitions to grow the brand overseas. The, the plan three years ago was, uh, was to build a state-of-the-art showroom that's different to everybody else's anywhere in the world, which we've done, and now that's done. My plan is to probably have one of these in another country somewhere. Um, who knows? Who knows where it's going to take us? When somebody drives through our gates and they see that you live there, first of all, my reputation has done for me for more than 30 years as far as being the leader. You know, it makes them very comfortable. The, one guy put it very bluntly to me the other day. He said, Tom, you know, every time I visit here, it's a bit like banking with coots. It's like a one-to-one -one personal service. It feels private. And as I said to you, we have to sign confidentiality sales agreements. We have superstar clients who are either in the music business or the theatrical business or the acting business. They're flying by helicopter and they insist that only me or my son Carl's allowed to be on the grounds. So the gates are closed. Where else can they get that privacy? They don't want to be disturbed. They don't want somebody else looking in, coming up to them. And, and we can provide that service. You know, I've met some fantastic people. I still meet fantastic people now. Um, you know, they've all been in here. Uh, you know, I've done business with Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, Sir Elton John, done deals with Rod Stewart. I can name but a few of, of uh, actors. Most of the footballers in Division 1 who mean nothing to me, I'm not a football fan, they've all been here. Uh, and some of the most important film stars uh, that I've ever come out of this country have been here. It's clear Tom is very proud of his legacy. And even with 50 years in the motor trade under his belt, he's not planning on giving up anytime soon. I'm so proud of the name Tom Hartley and the brand. I love seeing it. I love hearing it. I love wearing it. And I love it because it's, it's achievement. And it's success and achievement. And I feel the pride I have in that brand, as, as I just said to you, I'll probably be found dead in one of these showrooms doing a deal. That's the way I'd like to die. And it's odds on that's probably the way it's going to be. And I'm going to be buried on this estate. So there's no real way other than finishing this video by a walk on Tom Hartley's very own lake. You've all seen it in the pictures, we've seen it today. It's incredible. I mean, 250,000 pounds for a stage to take brilliant photos on. I mean, that really does sum up Tom Hartley. It sums up what is a very special car dealership and what is a very special man. Tom does stuff differently. He's very unique and that's why he's successful.
What's also very clear is his commitment and passion to the motor trade simply hasn't dulled with age. He's as hungry as he ever has been, some would say even more so, and with the market turned upside down by coronavirus, it's clear that if anyone's going to make a success of the situation, it's Tom. For more videos like this one, log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk and click on the live tab at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.